Hey guys, and welcome back to my reaction videos. So something good really happened today, and that is Momba Studios decided to release the trailer, the full trailer, for Wakanda Forever. I am so excited about this because I do remember the teaser trailer. I can't tell you how many times I've watched that teaser. It's so good. It actually almost brought me, no, I think it did bring me to tears. It was so, so good. But the one thing I really didn't see much in the teaser trailer was Namor. Obviously you got a little visual hints that he was in the trailer, but you really didn't hear him speak or you really didn't see too much going on with him. So I'm really hoping we're going to see a lot of Namor in this trailer. Hopefully we'll actually hear him speak. The actor who plays Namor, Tanook, I think that's how you say his name. Apologies if it's not. I haven't really seen him in anything else. I actually don't think I've seen him in any film or TV show. So I'm really keen to see how he portrays, how Namor sounds. Is it how I envisioned in my head? Who knows? So there's only one way to find out how Namor sounds and who's in the Black Panther suit. It's Shuri. So let's jump into the trailer right now. <laughs> Already. the most broken people. Can be great leaders. That's the model Atlantis. His people do not call him General or King. They called him Kukul Khan, the Feather Serpent God. Killing him will risk eternal war. You actually can see the wings. He's coming for the surface world. We know what you whisper. There she is. Oh! You just know that this movie is going to make you cry. I mean, the teaser got me all emotional. The first five seconds of this, I mean, just right there, just straight there. Ah! They're definitely going to be drawing parallels between Namor and Shuri. That quote that Namor says that's only, what is it, the broken people become great leaders. So one, why is Namor broken? Like what backstory are we going to see from him that shows why he's broken and why he is the way he is? Obviously we can tell why Shuri, Ramonda, why any of them are broken because it's the death of T'Challa. So I'm really keen to see how they're going to connect those two characters and their journeys. So I'm really happy that we finally got to see the underwater world of Talokan, which is Marvel's version of Atlantis. But, you know, DC has already done Atlantis. They want to kind of like separate it and they're going with this whole Mayan kind of vibe. I'm all here for it. So it was nice to kind of see more of that. The graphics underwater are looking so sick. Ah, oh, it's gonna be so good. The moment when they said the feather serpent god, I was like, you better show it, you better show it, and they did. You finally got to see Namor flying with the wings on his ankles. And there was even a part where he was like flying, like he was like chasing a ship or something, or like they were shooting at him, and he was kind of like dodging it. Like it was like kind of, he was like stepping in the air. It looked so, so good. I just cannot wait to see all the fighting sequences. And then there was also a point where he's like flying up to Ramon and Wakanda, and I believe it was Riri Williams who was behind her, but you see the reflection of Namor as they are looking at him, and, and then he's about to like smash it, and it's just... There's just so much tension. They're building it. I just really just want to see this movie now. Angela Bassett just slays. Like she just doesn't even have to do anything. She's just like so perfect. She's so regal. That line, I know what you whisper. 
guys, but they've lost their protector. Like, ah, <laughs> it's hits you right there. The trailer also does a really good job of not revealing too much, even though it's a full length trailer, because why is Talokan attacking? What do they have really against Wakanda enough to actually attack them? I know Namor isn't gonna be the villain of the film. He's gonna be more of an anti-hero. Any article that tells you that, it's not a big surprise because that's how it is in the comic books. But I do want to know why he's deciding to attack Wakanda. Is it because they've revealed themselves to be this really advanced civilization and not because the wider world knows about them? Namor fears that they're gonna find out about him and his world. Maybe that's why he's attacking, but if they already know, why are you attacking? We finally got to see Riri Williams suited up. So it's very much gonna be that Tony Stark journey where it's very clunky, very kind of like old and not really that techie. Then you know, two, three films later, she's gonna have like nanotech all over herself. And then that last shot, the revealing shot of, I mean, they're clever though, because they don't show that it's Shuri, but it's her, it's her, it has to be her. It's 100% her. If, if it's not, if it's Nakia, I'm gonna be like, what the hell? <laughs> no, but she looks so good. And I love the part where she like, Obviously she's falling from such a large height that no normal person could do it, but obviously she's gonna have the purple herb one way or another. But I do like that detail shot of when she lands and you see that the, the kinetic energy of it kind of like goes through the feet of the suit. It's just, ugh, I need this movie out now. What did you guys think of Wakanda Forever? Are you still super excited about it? Do you think you're gonna cry during the entire film just like myself? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite part was and let me know what you think of Nemo. Until then, I'll talk at you guys later. Bye.